How your opinion mm. about this draft? Okay. So, well, in my opinion about the Knicks as a whole, as like an administration is what they have now, I feel it's a mess. I feel it's all over the place. You have different philosophies and ideologies going on that are going in different directions. Do we yes. build for the youth? Do we want to win now? If we are building, do we have a developmental staff? You see? If we are mm -hmm. going win now, are we getting all the guys necessary in order, you know, if are you going to get your Beals? Are you going to get your Ingrams? Are you going to get, you know, are you going to um, get your Zach Levines and stuff of that nature? If you are going to do that, then do that. You see? So they have to, they have to pick a side and then they have to go in that direction. So um, that's what I think of that. But as far as the draft, the draft is a reflection of those things that I was talking about. So what happened is very long story. So last year, right? They uh -huh. start they, they signed Julius Randle. Yes. Uh to to the four year hundred million. But they didn't have to. They could have waited. So they signed them a little bit too early. Then they signed Alec Burke, Nurens Noel, and Derek Rose to multi year contracts. Right? Yes. 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 Right. So what happened is that they got in trouble because you have a cap space, right? And you could mm -hmm. only do so I much. Agree. Right, right, right. So it didn't work last year, right? So mm -hmm. what happened was that now they had to go to a new plan. And the new plan is that they weren't going to waste their time getting a draft pick this year. Because if the administration of Tom Thibodeau, Leon Rose, William, uh, uh, we're Wild West, if they have a bad season, they're gone. Yes. They're done after the season if they have a bad season. So they had to, like, for example, with Kemba Walker, when he was moved to Detroit, mm -hmm. right? What did they yes. attach the what did they attach Kemba Walker with? A first round pick. So you see? So these contracts and the value of these players, when teams want them, they have to attach a first round pick with that. So if Alec Burke goes to Brooklyn Nets, the first round pick is going with Alec Burke to the Brooklyn Nets. You see? So that's why they picked up three first round picks that were protected. You see? Because those are lower draft picks. So you're not going to see them. And if you're a team that's trying to get talent around you, you don't want those type of picks because those are later in the draft. So mm -hmm. it gives you an idea that what they're going to do. They're going to move off the contracts of Alec Burke, possibly Evan Fournier, um, Derek, possibly Derek Rose, Nurens Noel, possibly Julius Randle, and they have to attach those first-round picks to go with that because the teams don't want the players, you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was their thinking in draft because they want a free agent. So they mm -hmm. might throw money at Brunson, right? They might mm -hmm. throw money at a list of other guys that we'll talk about in a bit that, you know, because they have to create a cap space in order to get them onto the team. So that's what the draft was all about. That's the reason why they didn't draft any players in the first round. And that's why they accumulated so many picks. Because when they move off Alec Burks, Evan Fournier, Nurin Zoel, they have to attach the first round pick with it in order for the team to take it. Ah, that's right. In Brazil, man, uh, I crazy, crazy, crazy yeah. with this draft because uh, Jalen Duran in draft, uh, we don't know, uh, stay with the Knicks, stay with the Pistons. No? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it man, was very confusing. I, I, man, and, yeah, and, and, and I and, like uh, Jalen Duran. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think a great center uh in mm. the in the in the my opinion okay uh Jalen during in, in nba will be a a, a great great future mm. in, in my opinion eh? uh, yeah yeah because and uh, um, man uh we don't know about uh mitchell robinson eh? and uh, mm. you you get uh, you got it uh Jalen during i don't mm. um in my opinion okay i don't agree with this i i understand i understand nah, uh the process uh leon rose nah, in social media talk about this nah. mm -hmm. i understand okay but mm -hmm. i don't agree 
my, yes. my Bud's, a, a Bud's my opinion. Um, yeah, I, I don't agree either. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're good, yeah. And a but lot of people, I, it, I was going to uh, say real quick uh, that a lot of people yes. are starting not to agree as well. You see, because what happens was that they were putting their trust and they were putting their, their, their faith into the front office and saying, okay, they're good. You know, we had a good season. Tom Thibodeau got coach of the year. You know, uh, um, uh, R.J. Barrett had the best season of his life the, the season before. And, you yes. know, Julius Randle mo uh, won most improved player. And people like, you got to trust. You got to trust. And now people are starting to see that the front office may not know what they're doing. No, I agree. <laughs> I agree with you, man. I agree. No. Uh, man, I, 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 I really, really, really... Um, uh, confused with the, yeah. with the front front offs from the Knicks, man. Really, yeah. uh, in New York, uh, people yeah. agree or disagree with uh, Leon Rose. Yeah. People, Knicks fans in New York. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah. So there's a, there's a small percentage of people that think it's okay. Don't worry about it. They have a plan. But most people do not agree with that. And most people know that uh, they're kind of doing things backwards. And there's certain things that don't make sense as far as certain contract signings, as far as uh, uh, drafting certain players. Perfect example, Rokas Jokomitis, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. a good no. example. You, Rising star. You pick up, you draft him, you draft and stash him, right? And then you uh -huh. set up in an arena in which he can come ahead and join your team. Right. So yeah. he's uh -huh. going to be playing behind guys, which is not what he signed up for. Right. Because what he issued a statement that said, I will not be going to the Knicks if I'm going to the G League and I'm going to be like a third or fourth string point guard, which I don't think mm -hmm. he's a third or fourth string point guard. I think he has a lot of potential. And I think it was smart to bring him here, have him play at least backup point guard, give him 15, 20 minutes a night and see what happens with that. But they're not doing that either. Here's the big thing with the Knicks, brother, Victor. They mm. don't develop properly. I'm not going to say they don't develop at all, but they don't develop uh -huh. properly. You see? Yes. So uh -huh. Deuce McBride, right? Good you defender. Gonna, if, you, if you didn't see Deuce McBride last year, what makes you think mm -hmm. that you're going to see him this year? You see? Because development takes a back seat now because they have to win this year. You see? They have to win mm -hmm. because if they don't win, Tom will get fired, Leon will get fired, and stuff like that. So now development goes here now because you got to win now. You yes. see? So that's why they're looking yes. for that big free agent. That's why they're trying to sign Brunson. That's why they're trying to go ahead and get these big names here in order for them to have a winning season for them to keep their jobs. So, you know, it, people get confused with this. Why make these draft picks of Rokas? of Deuce, of stuff like that. Why trade 19 and 17 from last year for Quentin Grimes when you could have had Quentin Grimes at 19 and still, I mean, at, I mean at 21 and still get mm -hmm. something at 19, you see? So these, these type mm -hmm. of things that people are questioning and they're starting to open up their eyes and seeing what's really going on here. Man, man. I really, really, really don't see again Alec Burks PG, man. <laughs> No. Knicks, 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 uh, Knicks, 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 uh, got it. A uh, great PG man, or, or a good PG, or I, mm -hmm. I really, Emmanuel Kikli, Emmanuel Kikli, man, Emmanuel right. Kikli. Mm -hmm. I, I like so much this guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Emmanuel Kikli, don't PG, but uh, it's a good in this po positions too. I like yeah. it, man. Yeah, but I, 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 it's complicated, man. It's complicated well, it, because mm -hmm. um, uh, Tom Timbaldon don't like younger players, now. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I, I saw this draft, man. Uh, in the, the 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 this day in this month, I make it uh, so many videos, now about uh, maturing. Dyson Daniels, uh, Mal Malakai Brahan, and uh, so many, so many players, nah. Yeah. Man, no one, no one. <laughs> yeah, no play. And, and you know, with Tom Thibodeau, you know, he does play young players because he played R.J. Barrett. 
He did play no, Mitchell Robinson. Did. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So he does. But I think the thing with him is that when it comes to a full development thing, I'll show you an example. When when we didn't make the play in, right? And we were mathematically uh-huh. out of it, right? Uh-huh. Why did yes. he still have Alec Burks playing point guard when he could have just gave it to Emmanuel quickly for the last seven or eight games of the, of the season and let him run it? Yes. You see? Yes. So it's mm-hmm. certain things like that. Example, if Obi Toppin is your eighth pick, now whether Obi's going to be a superstar or star, I don't think so, and or we don't know, right? But why not give him the amount of burn, right, the amount of minutes – in order yes. to see what he is. Exactly. exactly. Right, right. So, uh-huh. you know, it, it, it's those type of things that become very frustrating and they become very confusing to the fan base because, you know, you want to you want to win, right? But you want to see it be done the right way, right? And last year was not the right way on how to do it. There was, there was a lot of – I thought Tom Thibodeau lost the team very early in the season. You see? And I think that really disrupted plans that they had and things they wanted to do. Derrick Rose getting injured didn't help either. So, mm-hmm. you know, but but to answer your question, back to what you were saying, is that, you know, the the the, the fan base is very confused. They're not sure what's going to happen. They got to wait. They got to see. You see? Because free agency is going to tell everything or what's going to happen. But what happens if they don't get a really good free agent? We, are you cool with signing Brunson for four or five years, 120? Right. But they might have to do it because who's coming? Yeah. Ah, it, it, it exists né, another rumors. Né? Uh, first, uh, talking about this draft, né? Uh, I, I like uh, your opinion about um trevor né, from the duke né? Yeah. uh the only pick né, in this draft yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion uh, sure. about trevor yeah sure um i'm very high on trevor and in the sense that i like that he he comes to a team and he's called a glue guy like he patches up the holes for you right he's that type of guy mm-hmm. i don't see mm-hmm. him being an all-star I don't see him being a guy that's being able to average 14, 15, 16 points a game, for example, consistently. I don't see that. But Me too. <laughs> I, right. But I, I think he's good for culture. He plays very good defense. Right? He's only he's eight. Strong, and he's strong. Yeah, he's built like a football player. Um, he's he's only 18 years old. Okay? So it's it's I like him. I think I think mm-hmm. he's a good player. I think he's an NBA player. I think he will be here for five, seven, eight years in the NBA. I just don't feel it was the right pick for the Knicks. Because what do we need? Yeah. We need guys that are qu- a little bit quicker, a little bit more athletic, right? Can break yes. down the defense, get to the rim, and be able to shoot. Trevor Keels struggles with those things. He shot at 31% at Duke, right? His Mm -hmm. assist-to-turnover ratio, not too great. He's not a guy that's going to jump out of the gym. His ball handle is not very tight like that in order to get the spaces. He does have some ability to work out of the pick and roll. He does make good reads out of that. He is able to attack the closeout very well with his big, strong body. He's able to get to the cup. Those are good things. But it's he works better with a team that already has players that can get their mm-hmm. own shot, that can break mm-hmm. down the defense and get to the rim. Teams that have identities on how they run their offense. Guys with high IQ, right? Being able to make plays for others. See, kills will be very good under that. We don't have that. So we missed out on some guys. Ryan Rollins was a guy, right, uh, that uh, Golden State picked them up was a guy that should have been looked at to be picked up. Uh, Gu Santos, that Golden State ended up picking up. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. That, Brazil, uh, Brazil. <laughs> very good prospect, 6'8", 7'1", wingspan, could do a little yes. bit of everything, right? He's got a nice little bounce. He's not uber athletic, but he's got a nice bounce. 
is a guy that should have been looked at, especially that we need a small forward. Yes. So, right. So um, Jabari Walker, there was, there was a, a, a Kendall Brown. Um, there was a list of other guys, too, that I felt could have been gone. Adonis Williams, he went undrafted, played at Wake Forest. Good New York City point guard type of point guard. Great court vision, can get to the rim. He finished 66% at the rim in the half court in college. It was something that should have been looked at, wasn't looked at. Um, so I felt I like Trevor. I think he's a good player, and I think he's going to be a good guy yeah, on the rotation. And the rotation. rotation, right, right. But I felt that knowing that we needed talent, knowing that know, we didn't though. get, knowing that we didn't get a first round pick, that we yeah. should have gone with something with a little bit more upside and and something that had a little bit of a, like a more of, of of a potential better skill set than yes. Trevor. So, man, man, in this draft has, uh, for example, AJ Griffin, great shooter, Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta Hawks, yeah. AJ Griffin, great, great shooter. Pick by them. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Davis, good defender. Yeah. Yeah. He, well, he uh, went to the Wizards, so. Yes. He, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Dyson I, Daniels. Dyson Daniels. Uh, uh, the problem uh, with uh, Dyson Daniels, uh, before NBA combined, uh, Dyson Daniels and pick, pick, uh, pick 10, pick nah, 20, enter, nah, between. Nah. Mm. Man. Yeah. After well, mm -hmm. uh, NBA combine, nah, high. Yeah. yeah. The... You know what happened, Victor, is that that's what happens when you win games at the end of the season that you shouldn't win. Right? Yes. And, he, and it should have put the kids out there, right? You should have put the deuces, man, have them play all those games and stuff that you knew you were going to make the playoffs so then your draft stock can be better. So instead yes. of at 11, if they would have not won, if they would have not tried to win so many games later on, they would have been like around six, seven, eight. And you see, yes. we would have had better. Uh -huh. We would have been around Shade on Sharp. We would have been around yes. Dyson Daniels. We would have been around Johnny Davis and stuff like yes. that. So that's something to consider as well. But but uh, what's your opinion about this French uh, in pick eleven? Nick's, uh, it's correct or not about this? Because well, I I hear uh, so many people talking. Uh, uh, a good skills about this French, and I I hear uh, 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 um, not good. <laughs> okay. What's your opinion? Uh, okay. Nick's correct about this guy or not? Okay, well, they only picked him because OKC wanted him, and ah, they no, were and they were willing to get right, right, right. So, but um, Ujban Jiang is yes is is a young prospect that has a lot of upside but mm -hmm. he's a project it will take him a couple of years no. and that's why him being an okc is a good place for him because mm. they'll take their time with him they'll, they'll teach him uh. they have a very good de developmental staff there so mm -hmm. um i if he had gone to the knicks i think it's what you're trying to ask me is that if he had gone right Yes, yes. I would have not liked it in the sense that the Knicks don't develop very well. Mm. Okay. The last player mm -hmm. out of the rookie contract, as you know, was Charlie Ward. And that yes. was 30 years Charlie ago. Charlie Ward make it live with you. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so, so that was the last time, right? So, um, they're not they don't long um, long time right right so they don't dedicate to development so why would you take a guy that's going to take about two three years in a season that you're going to have to win now so yes I, I i'm glad they didn't do it i believe me when when i heard it i was like oh no <laughs> because you know and because i knew what was going to come with that and um but you know but but uzman Jiang, He's in the right place. He's going to be a good NBA player for years to come. Uh, but uh, I, I, I don't like in the Knicks too, man. Uh, I, but uh, nah, I don't know nah, about the future this the, this player. But uh, I, I don't want, don't want uh, this player in Knicks. Okay. Nah. I, I, I will like it. Um, Jalen Durin, nah. But uh, yeah. I, yeah. Nah. Uh, e aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal.
Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! <música>